Flow 16 will be your first opportunity to plan your own jump. Working with the instructor, you'll select skills and maneuvers that you enjoy or that you need to practice. It's a great idea to look for gaps on your A-License proficiency card before planning this jump. The freefall objectives for Dive Flow 16 are Student's Choice Exit and Freefall Break Off and Track at 6,000 feet Scan, Wave, and Throw the Pilot Chute by 4,000 feet Regardless of what you plan for freefall, it's important that you maintain altitude awareness, have a relaxed arch, and pick a heading for breakoff which is perpendicular to jump run. You should also be relying less on your instructor for tasks such as spotting, exit order, and starting to gear up at the appropriate altitude in the airplane. The canopy objectives for Dive Flow 16 are front riser turns, and choosing your own additional skills to practice. After you've collapsed your slider and completed a control check, begin flying towards your holding area. To perform a front riser turn, keep the toggles in your hands as you reach up to the front risers. Keeping your pinky and ring finger closed around the toggle, use your other three fingers to grip as high as you can on the riser without grabbing the lines. Pulling the front riser down puts more pressure on the front of the canopy and when done properly can create a steeper dive or rate of descent. Perform a 90 degree front riser turn in each direction by pulling the front riser no lower than eye level. After you've completed the front riser turns, perform your next planned canopy drill. This should be decided on with your instructor before the jump. By continuing to have drills and goals planned for every jump, you'll create the right mindset to keep yourself learning. While practicing canopy maneuvers, you must stay aware of other canopy traffic, your altitude, and your position over the ground. Fly to your holding area by 1,000 feet to begin your landing pattern.